Yo, welcome to Premier League predictions for game week three. Starts with Friday, Friday night with Chelsea against Luton Town. I think Luton, to be fair, only having two games out of the first three game weeks because obviously the game against Burnley being off for their stadium not being ready. It's going to be tough. After losing 4-1 at Brighton in their first game, um, going to the bridge, Chelsea, okay, got kind of have heavily dealt with by West Ham. But I think Chelsea at home will have the Premier League experience against the Luton team, who have always players that Luton have never experienced the Premier League. So I think it's going to be Chelsea 3, Luton Town 0. Saturday, it's Bournemouth against Spurs. I know Bournemouth were good at home last season. Um, yeah. Um, I think Spurs will have too much for them. They'll just with Son and so on. I just, yeah, my prediction is Bournemouth nil, Spurs two. Um, yeah. On to Arsenal against Fulham. I think um, Arsenal will be too much for Fulham. I think the, the post um, Mitrovic era is going to be quite a hard one for Fulham. And going to the Emirates is going to be one of the hardest places, of course, to go this season. So um, I think Arsenal will show the difference and the class and quality that will be needed to come through. So my prediction is Arsenal 3, Fulham 1. On to Brentford against Crystal Palace. Well, Brentford always find a home ground a bit of a fortress, don't they? They've got a very good record at home in the Premier League. And I don't think that's going to really change, to be honest. Um, Crystal Palace have lost quite a few good players. They've also gained a couple of good ones, but I think... Um, They'll be very frustrated and not getting a draw against Arsenal last time out when Arsenal were down to 10 men. And going to Bedford is going to be a different test. And like any game in the Premier League, a hard test. So I think it's going to be Bedford 2, Crystal Palace 0. On to Everton against um, Wolves. I know Wolves got smashed at home by Brighton, but I expect them to bounce back against an Everton team who... Um, okay, the first, they won the first game, but they got thrashed last game, and I can't see them winning this game. I can't even see them drawing this game, so I'm going to get straight to the point. Everton won Wolves 2. On to Man United against Nottingham Forest. I think Manchester United's first game, they were very lucky. I think the last game, Man United, yeah, were shown, weren't they? By Tottenham, by Spursy. So I think United will actually get a win and a bit more than just a one goal getting away with it win. I think it'll be just a bit too much for Forest. Um, and I think it'll be Man United 2, Nottingham Forest 0. On to Saturday night's game against Brighton and West Ham United from Yamex. Uh, West Ham are fantastic mm -hmm. against Chelsea, but again, that was at home. Going to Brighton, who have been fantastic at home against Luton and away at Wolves. I think Brighton will just have a bit too much for West Ham. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a very tight game. West Ham are showing um, that their late business, or more recent business, um, like Declan Weiss and so on, is showing itself. Um, and would obviously now with Ford Prowse as well. But I think Brighton would have a bit too much of them. I think it would be Brighton's closest, tightest win of the season. I'm going to go for Brighton 2, West Ham United 1. On to Sunday, we start with Burnley against Aston Villa. I think um, Turf Moor is always going to be a tough place to go this season under Vincent Company. Um, yeah, 
it's going to be, isn't it? Aston Villa have won 5 0 in um, Edinburgh tonight in the Europa Conference League, I think it was. So, um, yeah, um, Villa would like to get a bit of a European tour and um, experience um, going on shore this season. But when you go to Europe and you go to places like Turf more, you have to kind of, I guess, rotate and so on and know what you need to do and so on. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be Burnley 1, Aston Villa 2. On to Sheffield United against Man City at Bramall Lane. I think Man City will have the class. I think they'll win quite comfortably. I think Foden will probably be a constant thorn in the um, Sheffield United team on the cost. Ellen Ellen Hanan on top as well. So yeah, three 0 Man City. On to the biggest mm -hmm. game of the weekend in the Premier League, coming from St James's Park, Crystal Palace against Liverpool. I think Crystal Palace, again, I would say probably a couple of very good signings of potentially challenging for the title. Three for sure. But Newcastle have started well, the season well. And I think they might make this 2 1 against a very good Liverpool team. Thanks for watching my Premier League predictions. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. Please share. Please share, like, and please subscribe. Thanks. I'm out. Bye.